hey guys welcome to the channel i hope all is well with you thank you for being here thank you for all your love your support if you're new here welcome if you are returning i'm very grateful to have you here mm. i've got a throat issue guys i've been coughing which is not great so i'm on the anti-inflammatory stuff to help with my sore throat and my cough nothing too crazy though nothing too crazy i hope all is well with you let's see this is going to be a message for the sign of taurus if you have taurus placements chances are there could be a message here for you we're going to be intentionally looking at love okay um we could get anything here please only take the messages that resonate um this won't always resonate readings won't always resonate i don't know why i said it so odd like this may or may not resonate for you cards have fallen into my lap Ugh, what is going on Ugh. feeling like crap <laughs> it fell on the floor maybe some of you could be getting over some sort of um feeling of lack or not feeling the best let's see what you need to be aware of messages for taurus fairy tale phony trickster and illusion and then there's a few here police station mm. somebody could feel like they're in the doghouse with you we've got phony trickster illusion fairy tale we've got seduction attraction teasing hooking up and date third party temptation girl with a snake healing heart and heartbroken oh is someone cheating here or somebody's being nabbed for cheating somebody's in the doghouse you may find something out that makes you put the last nail in the coffin with somebody turning your back police station um you may find out that somebody's been swayed by passion Somebody could also be preying on a relationship or it comes to you. Somebody could be, um, want your man, want your girl, or want to be involved with them somehow. This could be a person who's eyeing up your person type of energy. This is not the best. Somebody could be being, um, betrayed. And then somebody's going to want to come and try to make something right with another person is what I'm seeing. Somebody fell for an illusion here. Succubus energy, incubus energy. This could be a feminine energy. Messages for Taurus. We have new love. A person has stirred your romantic feelings. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Let your friends help you. Some of you could be wanting to find some sort of new situation. Some of you could be disconnecting from a one-sided connection. Or a connection where you realise that somebody didn't have your back in a situation. Somebody could have definitely been led, been led by passion. <clears throat> the colour red could be very significant. There's like a siren energy that could have swayed a masculine energy. Um, and somebody could be wanting to make something right with you after cheating or stepping out on a connection. And you're kind of like, you're not going for it. A lot of you could be trying to renew your life. Some of you could definitely be dating somebody new. Um, take it as it resonates. A lot of your... If you are seeking the support of people around you as well, friends, family, people who you trust, um, there could be an energy of your friends advising you also not to talk to this person or there's something about a dislike a disdain for a person who could have done you dirty as well i see that i do see that
This may not have happened yet, so be aware of that. <coughs> I'm going to have to make myself some hot tea. Messages for Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Knave of Coins. And the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign or a Leo. The nine of wands. Too many. Somebody could have definitely tried to put you in competition here or there was definitely other other things that were involved, other variables. Temperance. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. What's the name of coins? The King of Cups. The Knight of Wands. The six of coins in the reverse. The ten of swords. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we've got the five of swords. Mm. Six of swords in the reverse. Somebody created a lot of chaos. A lot of chaos. There's a lot of chaos going on here with the fool in the reverse. Somebody made a wrong move and it created a very rocky situation. The magician in the reverse. This person could have lied here as well. Two of coins. Yeah, manipulation around juggling. The nine of swords. The ten of wands in the re reverse. It's like somebody is understanding the reason as to why they've been released. And they feel very, very um, anxious about that. Worried. King of coins eight of cups this could have been somebody who was also putting money above love or they their priorities could have been a little bit muddled where it came to you as well mm. there's definitely an energy of somebody either chasing some sort of success or putting money over a connection or there being some sort of energy of um somebody maybe distancing from you to go and seek some sort of different lifestyle or something like that they could have been doing this and not even telling you about that as well that there was something in their energy that you could have felt was a bit off or this could be what's happening now Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, a fire sign. Could be a Scorpio. I feel like you are feeling very tired right now. And you just, there's a fly um i feel like you're feeling very tired right now i feel like in general you could be at a point in your life where maybe you need to take some downtime or maybe maybe things have got a little bit heavy you could feel the strain of multiple responsibilities that have been on your back maybe you feel like you've been going it alone um with the six of coins in the reverse you could have you could feel like you've not had much help or assistance with something specific in your life or you feel like you've had to shoulder a lot of weight there's a weighted energy here there's an energy of you having to kind of um definitely put in more effort because you could feel one second give me one second
sorry about that guys um yeah you feel like you've been kind of like pulling the cart by yourself type of energy um you could just feel very exhausted you could feel like you need to take a break just in general um the ten of swords a lot of you are possibly even you're feeling more burdened because of a betrayal a lot of you could be trying to um balance out your energy at this time um you feel like a loss you feel like something could have been taken from you and it's not been an easy ride it's not been something that has been easy to navigate um some sort of painful situation you could have also feel like somebody's done something to you out of spite as well with the five of swords being here and it's caused you a lot of strife, a lot of pain. It's caused you possibly a lot of burden as well. You've had to pick up the tab or you have had to um, definitely work hard um, to hold something together. I don't know if you have a family or you're a single parent of some kind as well. yeah a lot of you could be healing from something that's really difficult right now um somebody somebody is feeling like they didn't give enough to you um this could be somebody who played a lot of games this could have been somebody very childish um somebody could have been even breadcrumbing you here i see a, a one-sided connection unrequited love has already come out and this could have been a situation where you kind of back back and forth with somebody um this person could have been very hot and cold in your life this could have been a start stop sort of situation um you definitely could have been the one that was holding something together in a connection and that itself could have depleted you um with the king of cups here somebody could be wanting to get your forgiveness for something here but this is somebody who was definitely very, very in and out, hot and cold. They played a lot of games. There's a lot of games that put a lot of strain on you. And I just feel like there's an energy here of enough is enough. <coughs> Taurus, I feel like you've had enough with, with something or someone. I do. five of swords to clarify the ten of swords you could feel like somebody does some, done something on purpose whether they did or not it's like you feel like um you feel like an energy of you didn't have to do that on top of everything else like why did you feel the need to do that too the judgment yeah The hanged man. Six of swords in the reverse. You feel like somebody put you in a situation where they created a scenario where it was difficult for you. You feel like someone intentionally put you into a spot where something was very difficult for you. You feel like they could have done this out of spite. There's some sort of spiteful energy that could be here between you and a person. Or you feel like this person's been spiteful. You feel like some sort of betrayal was intentional. Like somebody's tried to get you back or to dig the knife in after everything. There's there's an energy of, of you know, that struggle love. Like after everything, you had to do that to betray me too type of energy. Tell me about this nine of wands. And you wasn't even giving to me with the six of coins being here. The ace of coins. Somebody wanted you to, to go through the ringer for a connection or chase them for some sort of reciprocity here with the Ace of Swords. Yeah. And you could be seeing the truth about this. Three of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Coins in the reverse. Somebody was giving to everybody else but the connection. Everything else came first. Friends, family, everything outside. The hobbies that this person likes to indulge in even came before you. Six of coins in the reverse, three of cups in the reverse. Somebody had no time for you. No time for you. The knave of wands in the reverse. Somebody had no time. They didn't take this serious. 
they didn't take this serious. So what were they doing there then? Why were they with you? Three of Wands. Why were they with you? Eight of Swords. The Sun. Seven of Wands. This is a really arrogant energy with the Eight of Cups. They felt like you would always fight to stay in their life. Now, I'm not throwing shade or... Um, I don't mean this to be triggering in any way. Because we've all been in situations that we're possibly not proud of. Where we could have overextended ourselves. Given somebody more of what they didn't even appreciate in the first place. But we feel like, okay, let's give them more with the chance that they're going to give us a little bit that they're not giving us or they're not receive they're not even receiving what we're giving initially if that makes sense somebody felt like you would go above and beyond to continue fighting for a connection they felt like you were going to be fighting for um them they didn't think that you would give up fighting for them is what what i want to say that's why they stuck to you that's why they were attached to you this was a situation where, you know, you gave and you gave and you gave, you depleted yourself, you were stressed, you didn't get treated right. This person was not taking this connection seriously at all. The navel of wands in the reverse is a liar. This person possibly lied about people that they were sleeping with, with the three of cups in the reverse. This is somebody who was possibly sleeping with a lot of loose people with the six of coins in the reverse they weren't giving to you they weren't taking you serious and the reason why that is is like they they, they tried to cheat cheapen you and the reason why that was is because you were trying to go above and beyond to hold on to a connection put energy into a connection this person was an easy target for anybody to come in and um sway them because they weren't taking you seriously anyway knight of wands <clears throat> Queen of Cups in the reverse. The Magician in the reverse. This person manipulated the hell out of your feelings. This is emotional damage. No wonder you're so... Um, tired. With the Death card. Tired. You're done. It's like energetically you're done. Physically you're done you have nothing in you left to give because you gave all the best parts of yourself to this person who was like a pit of give to me give to me give to me and i know you're going to continue giving to me so i'm going to keep the pit open for you to keep pouring into me meanwhile i'm giving you nothing i'm not even reciprocating i'm not even taking this connection serious so this person took you as a joke that's that's very uncomfortable and sad. They didn't care. But the King of Cups is in the upright here. So they were feeling full, the Hierophant in the reverse, with no intention of committing to you. So while they was depleting your energy with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, taking from you, again, it's like a vampire-ish energy, you were pouring into someone with the hope that you was going to get a different result and there's people out there who would allow you to do this they will allow you to do this they will allow you to pour into them with the hope of oh the carrot's gonna come one day dangling that carrot like no one's business they will allow you to pour into them just to see the extent as to how much you're gonna give with no intention of giving you anything just because they can this person damaged you mentally with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck ten of wands in the reverse this is something that you're trying to release <coughs> what's next What's next for Taurus? The Five of Cups. You're very, very upset about this. A lot of you could be going through sadness right now. A lot of you could be feeling in your emotions. 
I'm not surprised. The Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. Somebody really um, manipulated your emotions. What's next? Nine of Cups. Happiness. I like to see that. Empress in the reverse and the Nine of Swords. This had a very negative effect on your emotions, on your um, the way you view yourself, your self-esteem. A lot of you could be trying to make yourself happy from a state of feeling like you have nothing left. Um, a lot of you could be needing to really feed into yourself. With the Queen of Wands in the reverse, you don't feel attractive. Somebody made you feel unattractive. Somebody could have even have made you feel worthless, um, like you weren't worth giving to. With the nine of swords you could be worried about your body image as well some of you could be um doubting yourself physically maybe you feel like you're not at your best maybe you feel like um you don't feel at your best you don't look at your best and i feel it has a lot to do with how you feel emotionally because of what this is name of cups the lovers in the reverse whoever somebody else was sleeping with we've already had the three of cups in the reverse it didn't even compare to, to what they had with you what what you were to them but they they came first they, this person put all of, all of that first they put that person first these people first i feel like this was mul multiple people who they were playing around with with the knight of wands these these loose people these sirens these illusionists these people who just want to sleep around run around they put all of those people before you and this has had a this has had a very damaging effect on you um the five of pentacles yeah it's like you're trying to be happy from a state of nothing with the five of pentacles this person really drained you with the king of swords the fool the wheel of fortune in the reverse the two of swords yeah you feel like this is like where do i go from here how do i begin to pick this up where do i start it's like seeing a load of rubble in front of you and not knowing how to build anything moving forward with the hermit a lot of you could be spending a lot of time in isolation a lot of you could be um trying to lick your wounds right now some of you could have dealt with a virgo you're trying to pick yourself up from a state of not really feeling like you've got anything to salvage of yourself this this really took it out of you you could be praying Praying for, for some sort of um, lifeline. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. Maybe you feel like family is not really around as well. You could feel like you don't have anybody in your corner. Or have anybody around you. <coughs> to kind of support or to help with this. Three of Swords. Oh, give yourself a lot of patience and care at this time with the nine of wands in the reverse depletion ah. take time to heal take time to get a handle on these emotions with the moon card um yeah you're feeling very heavy the ten of wands and the ten of swords whoever you are taurus you feel like you are in disrepair right now the taurus i'm talking to is you're possibly depressed you could be going through money issues you're not doing well and i feel like it has a lot to do with something that you've been through here and it's like there's a spiteful energy an arrogant person who hasn't cared at all you've had no grace from this person there's not been no remorse from this person from what i'm seeing in these cards somebody took and they 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 took treating you like some trash literally treating you like trash um only for you to start to think that of yourself and it is the 
future. Anything new? These cards are sticky. The Hierophant. God answering your prayers. I, I see a lot of you are possibly praying. The Queen of Cups. Restoring your emotions back again. The Emperor. Justice. The Fool. You get a new start. After feeling lack with the Five of Pentacles. The Strength card. Push through the Nine of Cups. That came out before. <coughs> Excuse me. Taurus. There's a name for people like this. And I'm not even going to say <laughs> what this is um this person is going to receive the karma that is due um and the reason as to why that's the case is because somebody possibly led you to believe that they were going to be all in they were going to give to you you know possibly made a lot of false promises this person sat and watched you pour into them thriving off of that energy knowing that there was nothing that they were going to intend to give back not taking this connection seriously at all they did not take you seriously because this person felt like you were going to go to bat for them regardless of what they gave to you this is the type of person who will see a person and take full advantage this person is a user this person is a big user they're a user you are feeling down in the dumps. You're heartbroken. You're trying to heal. A lot of you, depending on the timeline that you're in, you could be definitely cycling through some heavy energy, very, very heavy energy, some dark clouds. You could feel like you don't really have um, people to speak to or reach out to right now. You could feel like you're kind of in a dark space. You could feel like you're trying to kind of pull the swords out of your back, your heart, your body at this time. Um, and it's a tiring process that you could feel like you don't even have the energy. You don't have the energy. And this is a, a very pinnacle time for you because how you handle these emotions is going to be very, very fundamental to how you pick yourself up and move forward. Um, with the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles came out twice. You feel that you are starting from a position of lack. You feel like you are on the floor. If this is not your energy, please do not pick this up because I would not wish this energy on anybody. Be honest with how you feel. If you're not feeling this way, this is not your story, okay? It would be for someone else. You are feeling in a state of lack. You possibly feel very empty, very very alone, very isolated right now with the Five of Pentacles. Some of you could be struggling with money, as I think I said. How you pick yourself up or how you proceed moving forward is going to be fundamental to how you are able to create something new for yourself. And it's very difficult when you're creating from a state, a state of lack or feeling like you don't know where to go from here or how do I even start type of energy. Somebody really did a number on you emotionally. Somebody really manipulated your emotions. They used your kindness to wipe their backside. This is what I'm seeing here. I do see you in the future. I wanted to get you some new, some newer energy, some um, future energy to see if this is where you are at now from what I've described. Because right now you feel that, you know, the wheel is not going in your favour. You possibly feel like, <coughs> you may be feeling like you're going through a string of bad luck right now or a string of unfortunate events. Um, that doesn't feel the most comfortable. Very, very hard hitting energies that you're cycling through justice is here and the fool you will get a new beginning coming in here it will come after cycling through these feelings of lack um cycling through your emotions trying to get a handle on things trying to persevere and push through it's not going to be an easy journey sometimes you're going to feel like you're prevailing sometimes you're going to feel right back at square one 
um, but it's progressive and you just gotta keep working on it. Keep fighting the good fight. With the Queen of Cups and the Emperor, I do see you meeting somebody new. This could be a water sign or an Aries. Um, this is gonna give you a chance to have a new beginning. If this is not talking about love, I see you being able to pour back into yourself after so much of yourself has been given into a big pit of nothing to somebody who was not giving anything to you. Um, with the emperor, this is the energy of you being the boss of your existence. This is the energy of you being able to stand up in your full divine power. Full divine power. Um, there's a new beginning here to be had. And, um, you know, what I will say is justice will prevail. Okay. Justice will prevail. Um, people hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. And um, people like this, karma, just leave karma to do what it does best. And it usually happens at the point when you start to see a turnaround in your life after being trodden on like this. Keep moving forward, sending you so much love, grace and light at this time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Take care, Taurus.